All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is Brother Kasha Kuala coming back at you with another lesson, giving all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. And as you can see on the screen right here, I have the word camp. This lesson is going to be uh, titled, um, I Can't versus I Won't. Okay? Because um, both of them. Uh, psychologically and uh, mentally inside of people when they say I can't they really uh, subconsciously don't understand they're really saying I won't okay because they're just making an excuse so the word can't it says a uh, pretentious or insecure talk or insincere talk sorry so you're you're being insincere when you're saying I can't do something when you really can uh, the bishop here in um, Atlanta um, Bishop Patazawan he said when you uh when you say you can't do something, you're more than likely replacing that something that you can't do with something carnal. So if you're saying, oh, I can't make it to a, st a stream, you're probably going to replace that more than likely with something doing. So you're going to do something carnal, like go work out or go deal with a female or whatever. Go watch a movie, go on a date, go cook, whatever. You're going to end up doing something carnal that that's not, and you're missing out on the spiritual aspect. Now, of course, there's circumstances. If you're just at work or something, you, or you can't make, you can't just clock out, go to the stream and clock back in. That's, that's not how Babylon functions. All right. And the scriptures tell us, especially Paul tells us to be a citizen. Okay. So, but if you're not doing anything and there's a stream or a brother wants to link up, man, don't say I can't, you know, that's insincere. All right. Because the brother's sincere enough to hit you up to be like, let's link up and fellowship. Okay. Which the word fellowship means an association with so he wants to be associated with you or acquainted it says ostent ostent um uh conventional uh conventionality in speech let's get this word real quick bear with me ostentuous ostent yeah i think it's ostentious let me see ostentatious ostentatious there you go uh, characterized by vulgar or there goes that word again uh, pretent pretentious display designed to impress or attract notice so what the word can't is something that's you could be displaying preeminence you know like no nah, I can't or like I'm above that you know what I'm saying I'm too good for that so let's go to the word want, won't it means accustomed meaning comfortability all right Sometimes brothers, I'm not, let me not say that. Sometimes people will say can't because it, it impedes with their uh, com comfortability or what they're accustomed to. So when, when people say I can't, it's synonymous with the word I won't. You're really saying I won't. So if a brother's asking you, hey, drive 30 minutes up the road so we can hit do a lesson, maybe it'd be a 10 minute lesson, whatever. And you say, no, nah, I can't make it. But in the back of your mind, you know damn well you can make it, you know. You're saying I won't because this is not a custom. This is not comfortable for me. It says to dwell. Okay. The scriptures talk about Jacob and how he was a plain man dwelling in tents. The word plain means a well-rounded or, or perfect or whole. But the point of the matter says dwelling in tents. Jake liked to chill. Okay. It says inhabit, exist, be accustomed to be used to. Hey, me driving 30 minutes down the road. I ain't used to that. Man, you better get your ass up, man. Okay, so I got a couple of precepts lined up. This is Hebrews chapter 4 and 11. It says, let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. This is not our rest. The scriptures say, get up, for this is not your rest. Just paraphrasing, okay? Also in the book of Haggai, look, you shouldn't be settled on your leaves, man. Or I think that's, um, no, that's that's I think that's Haggai. But you shouldn't be settled, all right? You shouldn't. You should be working. So if you got to drive 30 minutes down the road to do a 10 minute lesson, well, God damn it, you better get the fuck up and do it. All right. Stop having this. I can't. I won't mentality. Stop. The won't mentality is your comfortability. All right. You're not going to be comfortable all the time. OK. And that's just 100 percent facts. Just dealing with the society we're in today. And when all hell breaks loose, you damn sure ain't going to be comfortable. Um, Elder Monaghan about like two years ago, two, three years ago, did a lesson. Uh, Elder Monaghan up in D.C. He did a lesson speaking about get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Okay. 
you better get well acquainted with fellowship with uncomfortability. <laughs> All right. Fellowship with that. All right. It says can't. And um, Salakia, it says um, insincere. So if you're always saying I can't, I can't, I can't, you're not being a sincere brother, man. You're not. Okay. So I had this book that kind of sparked the interest of uh, doing this video. It's called, it's called um, Letting Go. Oh, God. It's called Letting Go by uh, uh, Dr. R. Hawkins. Very great book to, uh, to read. Of course, you, you uh, filter everything out with the scriptures. But I'm going to read you a, um, a little snippet of this. <clears throat> All right. It says, since in reality, we are very capable being uh, beings, most I can'ts are really I won'ts. So he said, in reality... We are very capable beings, meaning we have the capability to go make time for something or do something, but we still say I can't, okay? It says most I can'ts are really I won'ts, which is factual because you don't want to step out of your comfort, your comfort zone because you're accustomed to a certain way of living. Get your ass up and go to work. So I'm going to read Hebrews chapter 4 and 11 again. It says, let us labor therefore to enter into that rest. Lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Because the Lord can take the spirit away from you at any given moment. Okay? So it says, uh, behind, it says behind the I can'ts or the I won'ts is frequently a fear. And why would you have to fear doing the work? Doing the work gets you out of this. Okay? So let me get something. The scriptures also say, I did not give you the spirit of fear. But I want to bring this out. This is uh, Joshua 1 and 9. Have I not commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy, uh, thy, thy power is with thee whithersoever thou goest. So why are you saying I can't? You really can. You got 24 hours out the day. Are you going to say I can't for 23 hours of those days? And then say for the last hour I got to go to sleep? It's, it's on you. This is your walk. Are you going to labor? Are you going to skip, hop, jump to it? Okay. Uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 30 and 6. And the Lord thy power will circumcise thine heart in the heart of thy seed to love the Lord thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. Now, if you're not saying I can't and I won't all the time, this is something that's going to happen to you. Okay. You're going to be perfect. He'll circumcise your heart. All right. Your seeds, your children or your sons and your daughters. They're going to learn to grow up loving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Simple as that. So if you're not saying I can't and I won't all the time, this is going to come upon you. And this is a good thing. This is what we labor for. All right. Stop continually saying I can't and stop being insincere and stop continuing saying I won't because when you say I can't you're really saying I won't I just read it out of that book not to validate this book but it says we are very capable human beings we're very capable of doing a lot of things if you work out every day six times a week I'm gonna say it, I do then I'm very capable of doing a lesson or linking up with a brother or going to camp or going to class or driving 30 minutes down the road to do a live stream. I'm very capable of doing it. If you're capable of working 40 hours a week, again, I do. You can go do these things too. The truth should be the in the forefront of your mind. And there shouldn't be I can't or I won't mentality about it. Because being I won't mentality is you got too comfortable. You just you're just chilling now. I might, as well, I, might, I might as well get a hell guy. This is a hell guy one and four. Not settle on that leads wasn't that, but I'll get it. How guy one and four is is it time for you, O ye, to dwell in your sealed houses? And this house lay waste? Exactly. Is it time for you to just be chilling? No. It's time for you to get your ass up and do the work of the Lord, man. Stop being the I can't excuse making alibi making um, uh, individual and, and, and get to it, you know, because
Because when you're really saying I can't, man, you're really saying I won't. And again, I'm saying this as in the sense of if you have the time. And we got time. Now, there's some brothers out there who run businesses. Okay? There's some brothers out there who actually are at work frequently. There's some brothers out there who have to do what they have to do and get on the grind. And yes, sometimes they got to be, hey, look, I, can't, I just can't. That's 100% understandable. But if you're just chilling at home, you ain't got nothing to do. Like, like Smokey said on Friday, you know, it's Friday. You ain't got nothing to do. If you like that, man, get up. Get up and make your day productive. The scriptures say shut off uh, the old man. Well, what do you do? You do more or you do something better than what you did before. Get on, get on a hobby. Me, myself, and I. I got a guitar back here, okay? I pick up a craft. I start reading, I start reading books. I'm about to read a book a month, you know? Understanding what the scriptures say in the book of Ecclesiastes, of course, first and foremost comes the Holy Scriptures, okay? You know? Indulge in different, um, uh, uh, I, not ideologies, but uh, research about different things, man. Read different books. Filter them through the scriptures. Do lessons and videos with your time instead of sitting playing video games all damn day. Eating corn, uh, 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 <laughs> potato chips, man. Licking your fingers, man. Get off your ass. Go work out. Figure out a better way to have a healthy life. All right? Stop being the I can't oh, I'm in the flesh. Blah, blah, blah. No, bro. Go do something. All right? Even the scriptures say, hey, I'm not speaking on the line along the lines of uh, working out, but the scriptures say bodily exercise profited little. And I'm going to apply this. The, the car some carnal things profit you. Okay? You just have to learn how to do them in a, in a spiritual, righteous way. Okay? There's nothing wrong with working out. There's nothing wrong with digging into different type of herbs, planting a garden. Okay? You know, eating healthy. All right? Certain things of that nature. Shit. Learn how to change a tire on a car. It's relevant. We have to have transportation here and there. Stop being the one that I say, oh, I never really looked into cars like that, so I really can't do that. You don't know if you can or can't if you don't try. All right? The scriptures say it. Don't be afraid. For the Lord is with you, so whither us, whither whithersoever thou goest so what are you having that i can't i won't mentality for stop pick up a craft or something get busy shut off that old man don't be the nigga that you used to be okay a nigga ain't adult learn the hebrew you're learning a new language how exciting is that okay how many people can say that hey i learned a new language you got the tools you know stop being the one saying i can't do it and be the one that says, I can, man. I can. All right? So I just wanted to get um, that lesson versus the, the I can't versus I won't. When you're really saying I can't, you're really saying I won't do it. Okay? And if you're saying that to a brother, you're saying that to your Yahweh Yahweh You know? Especially if you have the time to do it. So I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace up, salutation to the elect 144 first fruit. It's your brother Kasha Kuala. Until next time, like always, Shalom.